But I'm finding out that as it relates to the gifts yeah. that we all possess. Mm. Your gift is never about you. Although it'll make room for you, you make yeah. a living from it. It's not about when you. When you're exercising and you're in the place, you release mm. others. Mm -hmm. We're so very glad that you tuned in. Now, I've got somebody in the studio. No, most of the time, it's the women. We're doing everything and everything and anything. But this guest I have in, he is so busy. I am so proud of him. Come on, podcast family. Let's receive the right reverend pastor, Edward Kufour. Thank you for coming on the BSM podcast. Thank you so much for having me. It is an absolute pleasure meeting you and your family. Tell me about some of those things you told me briefly about that you do. I know you're a farmer, but not just a farmer. You employ over 150 people. That's a little bigger, a little bit bigger than just farming. And then you are a politician, Buddy. activist. And most of all, you are in charge of a big council. So I want you to talk a little bit about that and share with the podcast family what all that entails. So great. Um, Asia African Chamber of Commerce yes. and Industry. Um, I'm on the governing board with mm. oversight responsibility. Mm. Um, obviously, Asia and Africa, two huge continents. Yes. And what we're trying to do is um, facilitate mm -hmm. business between the two um, continents through the, chain, <laughs> through the Chamber of Commerce. Um, yeah. And I sit on the advisory board okay. because they, in, in entering this market, they wanted to know the nuances of the market. Yes. So that's where we came in. And thankfully, because of my background mm -hmm. and some of the things I've been exposed to, right. um, they thought I was worthy of being on the council oh, wow. so I could um, help them. Yeah. To, to do that, we do. So that means you have the wisdom, business-wise, and exactly. your culture here, your country, Ghana. Exactly. You can put those two together exactly. and help bridge that. Bring yes. that. That's awesome. Yeah, based on what they're looking for. That's jobs. That's yes. development. Exactly. Infrastructure. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So we, we match them up and um, we facilitate so that um, things can go wrong if you don't have oversight. Right. So we want to handhold right from the beginning, right. from the concept to actually. Um, you know, manifest. That's amazing. Well. So yeah, hats yeah. off to you, sir. Good. Wow. And wow. Well, as far as um, my farm, mm -hmm. um, it starts with my hashtag. <laughs> I'm more than one thing because I believe Ooh, that God I love made it. me. Can I adopt that? I you can it. have I'm it. More than it's one all thing. of us. <laughs> yes. It's all of us. God is a provider. He's a protector. Yes. He's, you know, everything we Rafa, need him to be. Elohim, Eli, exactly. I am that I am. So <laughs> if he breathed that into me, why should yeah. I be, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. more of, yeah. you know, directional. That's it. That's it. I Multifaceted. I love it. So and I, I think the, the different gifts you have in you. Mm-hmm kind of, you know, lead you a certain way. It's all towards the yeah. purpose, wow. whatever you're assigned to do. And so I have, and we all do, multiple gifts. It's incumbent upon us to, you know, exercise yeah. those gifts, Absolutely. develop those gifts. Absolutely. So whatever I find myself leaning towards, attracted to, I go after and pursue. Wow. Wow. I, I, I believe that honestly, and I say all the time, if you perfect your character, God's got the gift. You know, it's it's the character I think yes, that we in the body of Christ have to really work on. You know, exactly. everything else He gives us, yes. the skills, the character, yes. the talent, or you know, the all of those things. So you at a farm, you employ 150. That's human resources. That's counseling. That's everything. Because when you employ, I, I have a so. company in America. When you hire people, you can take on the whole gamut. But then I hear that you have been affecting uh, affecting over 20,000 youth. Yes. Talk about what that ministry does. Okay. So um, the name of the um, foundation is Intetia, and locally it speaks about the ant. And the scripture tells us about going to the ant and learning. Oh, you know? yes. <laughs> so that's where the concept came from because yes. we had so many young graduates unemployed mm -hmm. and idle hands. They're mm -hmm. getting into all kinds of stuff, yes. you know, yeah. drugs, yeah. premarital, you know, yeah. it's Crime. a whole lot of stuff. Crime. Absolutely. So we decided, listen, they all have gifts. They all have something they're good at. Yeah. We just need to help them galvanize, give them some direction and try to help them harness the this gifts that they have. So we started a foundation and we realized, listen, if you've gone to school, if you've been 
fortunate to get to school. You have a certificate, a degree in your hand. Mm -hmm. It says you're competent. Yeah. So we should get out of the mindset of, I've, I'm done with school and I need a job. Yeah. No, you're no. done with school, mm -hmm. you have a certificate. You can be, yeah. you know, start a business. Mm -hmm. You can be mm -hmm. an employer instead of being an employee. Mm -hmm. That's what your certificate says, yeah. you're trained. So find out the gifts, what comes naturally to you, what you have a natural mm -hmm. pro proclivity towards. Wow. And then develop that. Mm -hmm. And what we were doing was just helping them from taking the concept, the ideas, teaching them how to, you know, research it, do the feasibility, mm -hmm. do the proof of concept, do a business plan, mm -hmm. pitch, right. and then you're on your way, wow. registering a company. So what you do is you bring a bridge between those who have had the tenacity exactly. and the ability to finish, exactly. but now they're lost. Exactly. And you just bring a bridge to their destiny. Exactly. That's and, amazing. Because they could be stuck in that unemployment exactly. world for a long and time. And, and, and then take a job, meaningless job, that really doesn't motivate them or it's key to their talent. Exactly. I see that. That's a brainstorm. I, I think if you're doing what you enjoy doing naturally, mm -hmm. it's not a job. Yeah. You, you enjoy, you look that's forward it. to that's it. going to do that's it. it. Um, versus being stuck in something you're doing just because you Absolutely. have to do something. It becomes laborious. You just, oh, yeah. I have to go and do this again. Absolutely. So that's, that's the concept behind it. Mm -hmm. And it was well received. We have a bunch of them coming up with concepts, ideas, and then we also teach them how to work together. Wow. That's one thing that mm -hmm. we're finding we don't do a lot of. No, we don't. We don't want to collaborate. We, Everybody wants to hold mm -hmm. their cards to their chest. Mm -hmm. But you have something, the next person has something. And when we bring it all together, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a piece, the pieces yeah. of a puzzle. Yeah. The picture is complete when every piece is in its place. Absolutely. And Absolutely. You, you don't have everything all by yourself no, alone. You don't. So mm -hmm. this person might have part that's of the right. idea. And once you're able to collaborate, and it's a win-win situation for everyone. And that's the body of Christ. I believe that's the that's mindset we need to have. All the members. You know, the prophet doesn't have it. The apostle doesn't have it by themselves. Empire. It takes the five-fold ministry to raise up the body of Christ. But yet everybody wants to, you know, oh, hold no, it to no, themselves. Yes. But I, heaven isn't like that. They're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> And the kingdom of God isn't like that. Yeah. Jesus explained that very yes. well. And the kingdom of heaven is like this. Yes. But we still have that worldish mindset of wanting to be the best or yes. be better or competitiveness. competitiveness it's all you know? mine. I have to do it all by myself. Yeah, absolutely. Glory seeking. I always say that there's no reason why a person should be hungry. There's enough food to feed the world. Greece. There's no reason anybody should be homeless. There's enough land for everybody. It's greed that causes homelessness and hunger. Yes. Yeah. Fundamentally, it's all yeah. about being selfish mm -hmm. and self-centered. Yes. Instead of being selfless and having empathy and humanity. You can only live in one house. Mm -hmm. You can only drive one, one car at a time. You can only wear one pair of shoes. shoes. I got 300 shoes, but I can't fit. Even on the bed, you only sleep in one <laughs> corner at a time. That's it. So, you know, why do we, uh, the Bible says, uh, what would a profit a man to gain the whole oh, world well, and lose his so. soul? You know, because he's running after things and you can't take it with you. Yeah. It would be different if you could just transport it. You know, then we might, but you it can't take be it wild, with you. Instead of leaving with somebody that didn't work for it, probably don't care. Wow. Didn't like you. <laughs> that was like You're you. gathering it up for Waiting them. for you to go. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So you are bringing youth to their purpose and their destiny because but they have done the first initial work wow this is amazing what else is in is is in that hat that you're doing well so you got the pastor how's that going tell us a little bit about, about your church well i think we're gonna have to ask god about that one because that was not in my plan <laughs> i know uh, yeah but thank god for archbishop uh, uh, yeah my, my papa I, I, yes papa I'd been living abroad for a while mm -hmm. with my beautiful wife there, started oh. a family, and then came home. Yeah. Um, and a very close friend of my family, mm -hmm. he came one day and saw me and said, you, come and see me at church. <laughs> and then he talked to me and told me, um, he prophesied some things to me. Wow. And I was kind of like, mm, yeah, I ain't none of that. <laughs> We got them. I got other plans. As, as God, actually, the first time he talked to me about it, I said, Papa, I think you need to talk to God again. Because I didn't hear him. He's looking at me. Like, well. oh, no, he's looking at me like this guy, you know? But anyway, I was obedient. Wow. And he told me, 
go into the school of ministry. Mm -hmm. And thankfully I have a, one of my mentors here. So I was so excited to see because oh. I was green. Wow. And I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Wow. I was in there just banging my head and wow. but just being present wow. and soaking in. And Do you know we need more leaders like you that don't want it and don't feel like they're worthy of it? Yeah, because yeah. I had other plans. I know. As an actor, I but heaven had Hollywood. God had need of you. Yes, exactly, exactly. Wow. I had stars in my eyes. Wow. I guess God says. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played in a movie? I've done quite a few movies. I've won a couple wow. of awards, even locally, and uh -huh. so there are quite a few. I've done a few series as well. Uh -huh. um, I played different characters. Okay. My most recent one was. Um, I played a character named Dr. Muhammad in um, a medical, Ghana's first medical series. Oh, wow. And I was the shady character. I got a celebrity in the studio. <laughs> in the studio. It's overrated. Trust you me. really, really um, have multiple. It, it's not, you know, it's some people do, uh, they are. A jack of all trades, but a master of none. You've mastered stuff. I, I, whatever I've touched, it's because if I went after it, yep. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. My mother told me when I was a kid, mm -hmm. she, she did roses and orchids. She would do these beautiful roses, have her beds and other orchids, and I'd go in there and dig them up and spread some tomato seeds. And she'd be like, boy, I'm going <laughs> to... So she actually had some other beds constructed for me. Said, this is where you plant your tomatoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you yeah. touch my orchids, boy. Oh, wow. So I had that, you know, Green I, was, thumb, I wanted yeah. to clean the dirt and mm -hmm. I enjoy things, you know, wow. watching things grow. Wow. So when I actually grew up and, you know, bought a farm, she was like, it's about time. Yeah. And you owe me for wow. all those roses and orchids. <laughs> so it's something Absolutely. that was just naturally in there. Wow. Same thing with the acting from you know elementary nursery i was in yeah. every school play every production oh, wow. i joined the choir wow. i just had a tendency towards the arts and, wow. um, of course, so you're going to do a play at your church with the young people i've actually done something with um, um one of the productions at Act action wow that then was one of the first things that were also also christian based okay because that's what i'm finding we don't do a lot of that yeah, right yes. this is not going for us to watch on tv we don't get it and even some of the christian stations play do some things i'll be like okay okay but what i want to say is this it, out of all that you do and we haven't even gotten to the topic yet. We'll get to the topic in a second because I'm really just enjoying discovering who you are in Christ. Out of all that you do, one common factor that I hear in everything you talk about is the love for life. And a lot of believers are just not happy with life. They're, they're not happy in their marriage. They're not happy with their family. They're not happy in their careers. They're not happy in their... They're just not happy. And when Jesus says, I came that you might have life and more abundantly you wear that scripture so well because you love everything you're doing and i can't imagine living on earth to 60 i'm 62 i'm not gonna but you know, all stuff, and not doing what i love you know yes. that's yes. the whole point of being safe go ahead I, 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 I found that and, and i think i've just been from a childhood i've just been very spontaneous very inquisitive. Mm -hmm. I'm a dreamer. Yeah. And my dad says, hey, this one's a dreamer. A free spirit. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling this. Yeah. I want to try it. If That's I don't like it, fine. I'm, yeah, but I'm going right to try it. I'm going to try it. I have this thing for it and I have an idea. Yeah. I, I, with the acting, I think in pictures. Yeah. I, I can, if I can conceive it. Yeah. Even with the roles and characters I play. Wow. If I conceive it. I'll deliver. If wow. you give it to me and I'm looking, I cannot get this character. Yeah. I'm more likely going to say no, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And it's, I understand it's not everything that you're going to do. Wow. But if I, if I identify, if I can, you know, there's something that resonates wow. between myself mm -hmm. and the character, I, I'm going for it. Wow. So. Absolutely. Oh, this is amazing. The pastor, the farmer, the politician, the activist, and now the actor. Wow. All right, BSM family. Many of you have been asking, how can we be a part? How can we sponsor? How can we see? And that information is right below. So take a moment and think about all the great episodes you've seen. And if you want to help us to grow and to do even bigger, better things, because it's all about big and better here at PSM Podcast, we invite you to invite others also to seed and sponsor. We look forward 
to getting to know you. And thank you for your contribution. Let's talk about faith and the role of balancing all of that. How do you do that? Uh, you know, because there's hiccups that come in everything. But what keeps you balanced and keeps you going? Well, the answer is faith. Yeah. It's just that, you know, that, that, that thing, if you will, that gives you hope. Yeah. We, when we talk about faith, we, it's, it's something that we, we, we vest in, we, we, towards what we believe as a higher uh, being, if you will. There's mm -hmm. some, some high authority in us. And um, though we may not have proof, we have this, um, what is the word I'm looking? We're convinced mm -hmm. we are, um, I'm looking for the right word. Mm -hmm. We're convinced mm -hmm. that there is a high being and that he has the capacity mm -hmm. to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Absolutely. So we look to him. Yeah. And, it, and it also comes with our socialization. Yeah. We are all you know, born into families. Yeah. We have belief systems. We belong to certain um, you know, mm -hmm. congregations of mm -hmm. faiths, denominations. Mm -hmm. And there's certain doctrines yeah. that we aspire to or we're you know, introduced to. And then we get, you know, we develop in that we get entrenched. Yeah. And that leads us towards us understanding yeah. that we're not of ourselves. Yes. So there's someone greater. Yeah. And so if you're aspiring to and you're investing your 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 hope mm -hmm. in this this being, yeah. then you know that's that's what your faith is. You don't have the proof, but you are convinced beyond yeah. every shadow of a doubt mm -hmm. that he can do yeah. what he says he's gonna Absolutely. do for you. And so to me that's what faith is. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's what you lend yourself wow. to. And I think if you if you are void of that mm -hmm. if you don't have that then you don't have the stability yeah because that's what that gives you Absolutely. and it also helps you to stay within certain norms because mm -hmm. within the doctrines mm -hmm. there's you know yeah. what's acceptable what's yeah. not that, that's right you know ethics mm -hmm. and morals yeah so if, if if you don't subscribe to any of that mm -hmm. then you're open to mm -hmm. whatever yeah so I think that's what faith does to us. It helps us to be grounded. Yeah. It gives us this expectation. It gives yeah. us hope. Mm -hmm. um, the scripture says, wow. faith is a substance of things not seen. Mm -hmm. the, the, the evidence of things yeah. uh, hopeful. Absolutely. So that's what it says. And, and it literally that. Mm. It literally is that. Yeah. You do believe in, even though we don't see it, yeah. we have this we're so convinced beyond yeah. the shadow of a doubt that right. it keeps us going. Wow. Because we have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, and I think that's what guides us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Because we see in the natural, but when you have faith, you don't see naturally. Yes. You see spiritually. Spiritually. Uh, and so you, you, you can describe it and other people can't see it exactly. because they can't see it in the realm of the spirit. But it comes with your mm -hmm. experience. Yes. So, you know, trusting in this higher being yeah. because then there's a track record. That's what makes you unshakable. Yeah. Uh, I had this issue. Yeah. I went to him. Yeah. And I got it resolved. Yeah. So now when I'm talking about it, mm -hmm. I know for myself that he yeah. can. That's, and you I'm know not, it's not of you. It's not of me because yeah. there's certain things mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, now if you're really there, if you don't come through, mm -hmm. I'm dead meat. A a absolutely. So when it comes to And God I'm, loves it when we're in that place. Yes. He allows us to be in that place yes. because yes. that's when we really get to see God. Knowledge. Because if you're not in that place... Then you think, you, you know, I really am amazing. You know, I did this. No, I, I'm not that brilliant. <laughs> because I, the more you, you go along. That? Okay, yeah. I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> Don't ask me. The only thing I did was walk on the water. I am, and, and he made me not sink, you know. Exactly. Absolutely, exactly. absolutely. What's in the second chapter, the next chapter for you? Well, Pastor Ed. I think uh, I'm, I take it. Day by day, every time I wake up, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so if you woke me up, there's something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. I have things I aspire to. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about um, being a budding politician. Mm -hmm. I've ventured out and I have aspirations in that direction. Mm -hmm. But I'm finding out that as it relates to the gifts yeah. that we all possess, it's never really about you. Yeah. It's meant while you're exercising and mm -hmm. being in your place. You you release 
and it it imparts and it impacts other people's lives. Mm. Your gift is never about you. Although it'll make room for you, you yeah. make a living from it. It's not about you. When you're exercising and you're in your place, you release mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. You become the evidence yeah. for others, mm -hmm. the inspiration for others right. to go ahead. Right. I, I can also do, yeah. I can also be, mm -hmm. because he, yeah. He's functioning, yeah. and whatever's driving him in. And the best compliment, I believe, mm -hmm. we can give God is to do whatever it is that you're given to do, to do well. Do well. Because yes. it, be excellent, because yes. he's an excellent God. Absolutely, absolutely. I believe in that wholeheartedly. And that, you know, it's, it's better to give than to receive. Exactly. So whatever he's given to us, we give it. And, I, I, and you never lack. You know, people say, you don't charge you never lack because your hand is open to give, but it's also open yeah, to continent. receive, right? And, I, and 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 uh, what did David say? I was young and now I'm old, oh, but I've never seen a righteous forsaken or their seed begging, begging for bread. I know that I am a product of my great grandmother, who was my pastor. She was a pastor in the fifties and the forties, which was very uncommon, especially in America. Yeah. And then I'm a fourth generation pastor. Then my mother. Uh, it was a pastor. And uh, now I'm grooming my granddaughter. You know, my daughter says, Mom, I'm not doing the pastor thing, but she's doing it. She runs yeah. my property. She ministers to the people. Got to get you one way. <laughs> one way. The testimony is in there. Because everybody in my classmates look at me like, Edward? Yeah. You a pastor? <laughs> I'm going, don't start. <laughs> don't dig up no stuff. You know, but so that, that's, that's how we're able to reach them also. But there is a flock, there is a remnant yes. that only you could touch. That's exactly and so God says, okay, hey, well, you're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. Now make room for this because I need you here. And but, God is like that. He's so gracious. I'm finding out some of the stuff I experienced, some of the stuff I got into by myself, but right. some of the stuff I experienced wasn't even about me. Yeah. Someone was coming down the line that I needed to minister to. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you can't give what you don't have. Right. But mm -hmm. because of the experience of yeah. the things I've been exposed to, the things I've done, which I wow. even shouldn't have done, they can come to me and some of these young people here are my congregants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. get a rip. This is what's happening. I'm going, oh, been there, done that. Let me yeah. tell you. Uh -huh. this that is, ain't going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work. You're, you're headed for the ditch. So That's you know. right. Avoid this one. But then I can also wow. encourage them, listen, this is where the answer is. Wow. We can go into the scriptures. Wow. And they can be edified. Absolutely. Well, I can tell why they were so excited to have you on the podcast. Mm -hmm. You're just funny and, and, and just, uh, uh, we say, young at heart and that's yeah. young at heart um i am excited uh is there anything else that you would like our bsm podcast family to know about you and all that god has called you to do oh i uh this is tough because i i kind of shy away from <laughs> i know blowing my uh, trumpet but i think I've, I've been fortunate to have really good mentors yeah. once here. Uh -huh. And then two great men in my life. Uh -huh. My dad, yeah. um, who's a former president of the nation. Oh, wow. And then Archbishop. Look how humble he is. He says this by way. <laughs> yeah, he uh, ensured. Uh -huh. That's the other thing. It's also in the upbringing. Yeah. He was like, okay, no, you're all gonna stay home. There is a you know presidential residence of the right. first family, but we never lived there. Wow. He chose to stay in his house and keep us to keep us grounded as well. Wow! So it's like okay, he was a wise man. Well, we we didn't think so at the time, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but we got used to it. And in right. hindsight, uh -huh. we we kind of appreciate it. I think I heard this story. I think I heard someone talking about this particular mm -hmm. president, how humble he was, and uh, yeah, just, probably uh, Papa. Could just relate, yes, yes, yes. Papa talks about yes. that, and how he could relate to the people. And felt for the people. Wow, that's what he always wow. says. Absolutely, it's, it's it's how you relate, what in the measure of your life, yeah. any any you know stature you can get to is always yeah. measured by how you relate to others, wow. how you've affected that. How are they going to remember you? What yeah. taste did you leave in their mouth? Yeah, was it bitter or was it one? Yeah, you know when your name goes up, it's like oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, or is yeah. it gonna oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So it's, well, you can't please everybody, but yeah, the yeah. Bible says avoid the appearance of evil. Exactly. And even yeah. the way you 
communicate, communicate. and receive yeah. people. Mm -hmm. You may not have the answer. You may not have what they want. Right. But you can still be civil. Yes. Cordial. Yeah. Humane. Kind. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so the Bible says, uh, uh, when a man's ways please God, even his enemies, enemies peace will be at peace with him. Yes. And that's just what I, I, I'm enjoying in my season of my life. Peace. Peace. You know, just peace. That's it. You know, and um, it has been absolutely a wonderful pleasure to have you on the podcast. Thank I thank you for coming. And uh, I'm looking forward to maybe maybe we'll go out to the farm and yeah, film some know. stuff at the farm and I'll get my I'm hands. Yeah, I'm a city girl, but <laughs> I'll try to get my hands in some dirt myself and pass it to my husband. And, uh, and we'll come out and see. Uh, what you doing at that farm and maybe oh, get so some, okay. what you grow there? What you grow we, in We're actually up, uh, about to start a new season. We do uh -huh. vegetables. We have mixed farming, oh. some husbandry, animal husbandry, okay. and some crops as well. Uh -huh. So we do vegetables and normal peppers and okay. you know, garden eggs, stuff, local staples we do. Okay. Um, cereals, maize, and oh. a variety of things. Okay, so all right. We're actually about to introduce some um, aquaculture. I want to do some catfish and really yeah so we're getting into that wow so we, we love some catfish yeah. my husband cooks up some we're good catfish up. wonderful we're going to come out to the farm and visit you and your beautiful wife and family and uh, it's been an absolute uh bsm podcast family i know you have enjoyed this and we want to say we're going to let our guests close out because i want him to say something special to you men uh, about being busy and being creative and handling your business. So I want him to close up. But I want to thank you for tuning in. I know that you have been blessed, I can tell. And the spirit of this podcast is really what I want you to catch on to. Faith to balance out your life. You can do it all. And as he said, you got more than one. More than one thing. More than, more, more than one thing. And yes. don't let it overwhelm you. Enjoy it. I want you to look in the camera and tell the men, you know, whatever courage and words you want to give to them. Uh, some men, they just want to go to work and go home and that's it. But you who are living a full life, go ahead and inspire them to do more. So brothers around the world, um, as much as we are more than one thing, because the God who made us is more than one thing. I want to encourage you, first and foremost, stewardship, because time management is what is going to allow you to experience all your gifts, to exercise all your gifts. So stewardship is key. If you are able to manage, compartmentalize while you're still accomplishing the entire picture, it is basically the foundation. Wow. And of course, faith, because yeah. that's what's going to keep you moving forward. Mm. Faith. Faith, faith in God, faith in what you cannot see, but you're convinced and convicted of. It's going to keep you stable and grounded for the race. Be blessed. We were blessed today by Pastor Edwards. Thank you guys for tuning in. We know that you were blessed and we'll see you on the BSM podcast real soon.